Avatar, I'll be running a Super Mario World 2, or Super Mario World ROM pack called Super Ryu World 2, created by a Gunny, or a Goonie, or Agony. We don't really know how to pronounce his name, we're not going to worry about it. Um, this features a lot of like really cool platforming tricks and gimmicks, a lot of custom sprites and, and stuff that you don't usually see in Super Mario World. Next to me I have the lovely Tammy, who will be doing some commentary. Hello guys. Um, and we also have Dom back here on keys. He's going to be jamming as we go through this, so it should be fun. Are we ready to go? Ready to go. Uh, I think only we hear it. I think, they'll, I think they got it. So I think uh, we're ready to go here. All right. Three, two, one, one go. go. Welcome to the sequel of Super Ryu World this time. Things will get a little crazier. If you notice on the left and right, we have Hector and Cora, who are Ryu's cats. You put my cats in the game. I love it. All right, so this is a Kaizo Mario ROM hack, so expect me to die and die a lot. Just going to put that out there. Whoa. Can I get you? Ooh, nice save. Okay. Oh, and then I blew it right after that. Can't believe I saved that. All right. That's what we wanted to do. All right. First checkpoint in the books. So that is stage one. A little uh, warm up, and not too bad. Um, only one death so far. Could be worse. All right, so the next level is reuse Choco Pond. So this one is a uh, very spin jump heavy. Every checkpoint is a blessing. Also, fun fact, the uh, assets used in this level for the graphics are imported from Super Mario World 2, Yoshi's Island. Ooh, okay. All right, and we're out of there. Nice, we got our live music going on right now from Tom. I love the live music. I'm so excited about this live music. This is my dream. All right, this next level is the first Switch Palace in the game, and uh, it's pretty tough. So we'll see how it goes. It's a whole new feel to this game. It's like I know. It breathes new life into it. I love it. All right, nice. Okay, I shouldn't. I shouldn't get excited yet, actually. All right, we are in there. Perfect. <laughs> No yump, though. No yump. No yump. We gotta reset, no yump. We're gonna spread blocks throughout the land. All right, so we are going into the ghost house here. A lot of uh, moving platforms, and we're gonna be riding this cool guy, Mole, escorting him through the uh, stage. He escorts you. Now he escorts me. It's the circle of life. All right, so this is an important part of the game. We are going into a secret door. And 
getting the secret exit. This is going to take us to the Star World, um, which is needed for the 100% route. Buddy? I love that victory fanfare. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna clear out the Star Road and then come back to the main the main world. So now we're in the Star World. He put my logo and my name in here, which is really cool. Um, it's really cool to see that in a Mario game. So in this level, we're gonna be um, hanging out with this bubble. Oh no, I threw it up on accident. So this bubble is going to be very important to getting all the way through the level. Whoa. There we go. Uh-oh, uh-oh, I didn't spin, I didn't spin, can I catch it? Oh. <laughs> so you gotta spin to get on that bubble. This level uh, involves throwing a lot of things, so throwing a lot of keys, throwing a lot of shells. Well, there we go. There we go. Go in that pipe. What's that, a ghost? Get him. So a lot of people don't know that you can kill the ghost with sliding downstairs. It's pretty cool. Because in the first ghost house in Super Mario World, there's a big ghost. And I think most people just avoid him. But you can actually spin jump on the ghost. You can kill him by sliding into him. Wow. Yeah. I was always so scared of him. Yeah, same. This, this level is called Friday Night. Um, it's a tribute to how I'm known for streaming on Friday nights. Yoshi gonna show up for one trick there. Thanks, Yoshi. So that little thing right there, that little platform that held the spring, you can see that they're also holding the Goombas. Um, it's something that only sprites interact with, so Mario goes right through, but it'll it'll uh, hold up items, it'll hold up enemies. It's very it's very nice for designing levels. This is a pretty long level, so let's see if we can get it this time. Whoa, woo, that was very scary, very scary. All right, and we are out of there, thankfully. It's easy to get stuck on that one. Ba -da -ba -bum. All right, the next level we're going into is the final level of Star World. Uh, one of the hardest stages in the game. So we're gonna need we're gonna need an intense song for this one to match the mood. Perfect. Oh yeah, I'm feeling it. That is that is the perfect vibe. a Mario Maker 2 demonstration today, so he had to switch his brain back to a ROM hack mode Woo! in a matter of a couple We are hours. in there. That's a, that's a good one to get first shot. How is it adjusting So as you can see, I had to escort the P-Switch all the way through the level, and at the end, the P-Switch turns into a mushroom that keeps you from dying at the end. So if you lost the P-Switch at any point, you would walk right off the edge and die after getting the goalpost. 
All right, so this is our reward for defeating the Star Road. We get this switch. The power of the switch will make the rest of the main route easier from now on. So if you know the vanilla Super Mario World game, the piece, or the Switch Palaces would make levels easier. Um, this game took a note from the original and kind of does the same thing. So it really makes it beneficial to go and get this when you're doing a playthrough. And we'll see some of those benefits uh, as we press onward. So now we're back on the main route and going back to the ghost house for the main exit. So as you can see, these blocks are here right now. Those appeared because we completed the Star World. So we are at now escorting two of these moles and jumping back and forth between them. I may have murdered that dinosaur when I should have not done that. Also, if you notice when you look up in this ROM hack, Mario looks a little bit different than how, than how he does in the original game. He has a giant mouth. <laughs> All right, there we go. I can't help but sing though, like these sweet synth sounds, man. So good. So we're entering Ryukar's Fridge, the first fort, first castle. Um, here is something pretty significant. Um, so what actually just happened there was I was able to skip an entire room of this castle by having the big switch palace from Star, from Star Road. Time for a boss. It's okay, we're just gonna keep that boss music going. So we've got a lot of bullets all over the place. The bullets are random, so sometimes you get really nice patterns and sometimes it's a bit harder. We'll see how it goes. Like that, ooh, that was a tough one to deal with right there. Stay away from the edges, because those bullets will spawn right on top of you. Pinball machine that I... Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, nice. Hello. <laughs> Yay. Wendy, Wendy is defeated. Oh, it does say Mario instead of Mario, which I thought was a cute touch. All right, next up is a pretty unique level, and that's because this is gonna show off Yoshi's special abilities. In most ROM hacks, people just kill Yoshi. They use him as a tool. You know, you jump, make a big jump and ditch him in a pit, but in this hack, you actually get to see Yoshi being used in legitimate ways. So we're gonna take an intentional death in the checkpoint room because respawning is faster than going through the pipe. Speed strat. Speed strat. Now we're showing off some of Yoshi's flying skills.
There's a mushroom over there, but we don't need it. We also have an easier time through that end bit, thanks to uh, completing Special World. It's nice to see Yoshi get some love, you know? Yeah. All right, so this level is right out of Mario Maker. You'll notice the uh, the pallet is the airship from Mario Maker. <laughs> this one is all just juicy platforming. Ooh. Right before the checkpoint. Is that, that stings. Should have spun jump there. I almost saved it. So there is a shell right there, but I'm gonna skip it because we got these blocks here. Right now would be great. We have two donations. One from Django X, uh, four dollars. He says, "Keep up the good runs." And KD three, twenty-five dollar donation. Great Ooh. run and greater cause. Good game, Ryu. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, GG. How close are we to the incentive? <laughs> All right, so we're entering Hector's Water Bowl. Um, and once again, Hector's my cat. And you can see that fish is like twerking over there or something. I don't know what he's up to. <laughs> but the special world unlocks a special route right to the checkpoint. And there's Hector chilling in his water bowl. Have you fed Hector? <laughs> we are yeah, only need to $15 Hector. away from the don bonus game. So get your donations in now. $15. $15 to see me be bad at Vanilla SMW. I've never it's gonna be it's gonna be rough. You don't wanna miss it. I've never seen Hector take a bath. So this is a bit of a unique setup. Ooh, yeah, crashing into the chuck. See, very unique. But we're gonna try and trap that guy up there so that we can uh proceed. Chuck is very interesting. Uh, $45. They say, let's get this bread. Yeah. Yay. So there we much. go. Woo. So we met the incentive, right? Sounds like it. Got a bonus game coming up. Oh, boy. Do, do, do. Final Fantasy Fanfare. Yes. All right, so we're gonna drop the P-Switch and hit it before hitting the goal to block us off because there's a Kaizo trap. If you don't do that, you just walk into the pit and die. It's gonna protect us from death. Yeah, a lot of the levels are themed like, you know, Ryukar's fridge, Ryukar's attic. Hector's Water Bowl. All right, so we are fighting a boss here that requires dancing on the disco shell um, to keep us 
from falling down and dying when the ground shifts. We have to hit him three times. If we fall off the shell, we're dead. We have to hit these question blocks in a very specific order. All right, cool. Nice. Woo! Okay, the next level I know for a fact has music from Mario RPG normally. And I don't know if Dom knows anything from that soundtrack. But we'll see. That sounds familiar. Yeah. Uh-oh. Ooh. So we actually need to block off that path to keep the disco shell up there. Take the Yoshi to get through there, and we're gonna grow him up with the mushroom. And we're gonna kill him immediately. That last setup a little bit easier thanks to the 100% route. We're getting into kind of the end game here. We've got one more level in this world, and then two more after that. This is a very intense platforming stage. Um, definitely one of the more difficult levels of the hack. But everything from here on out is pretty, pretty nuts. that platform. Also, fun fact, Ryu holds the world record for this game as of a couple weeks ago. As of, like, five days ago, actually, <laughs> <Yeah>. somehow. <laughs> it was a miracle run. Ooh, that's a big jump. Two more levels to go. The next level is one of the more flashy levels of the hack. It's also one of the most difficult. It has a lot of shell tricks and fast-paced action. Um, yeah, I'll just say that. We're in the final world now. You can see the castle coming up ahead. Checkpoint, that's all that matters.
we go. All right. That went better than it usually does. All right, one more level. The final fortress. Oh, look at that heart. Yeah. Um, we're definitely going to need the most intense song that we can get for this one. The Dragon's Flame. the last jump before checkpoint. <laughs> it's okay, I just wanted to show you guys the cool level again. In case you missed it the first time. Or the second. Or the second. Thank you, Tammy. <laughs> That's what I'm here for. I'm just here to troll him. She's got to keep me in line. Whoa, is it saveable? I don't know. I've never done this before. I don't think it is. I don't think it is. <laughs> Dang, that jump is tight. <laughs> that time. A common mistake when running Mario hacks. You come a little short once, so you go way over the top the next time. Try to find that sweet spot. That oh, looks good. I'll take it. I'll take that applause. final boss, which is uh, a bit crazy. We'll see how it goes. Fun fact, this final boss was added in recently in a new version of the game. Cool. I'm just going to take a lava bath real quick. We have to hit him all four times with these blocks. So every time we hit the boss, we're essentially removing a piece of the ground, making the fight a little bit harder each time. We're in there. All right, that's time. 28, not bad. 28. All right, cool. One last look at that beautiful Mario sprite <laughs> before exiting. Can you do an impression? And that is. <laughs> that is uh, Super Real World 2. And so it ends, another quest where you achieved nothing. <laughs> very poetic stuff here, very thought provoking. But at least you explored a little bit around Ryu's house. You managed to steal his beer and eat what he was cooking. You also got to meet Hector. Hector. And Cora. Oh. Everyone cares about Cora. <laughs> she just doesn't go on camera. That's a as reference much. to how Hector is always all over my social media and stream, but Cora never shows up. She's much more timid. Now it seems like the only place left to explore is his bedroom. Whoa. Ooh. Saucy. But I'll have to wait for another time. Thank you for playing. So, um, shout outs to Agani for making this game. 
Um, it's gonna list off a bunch of other stuff, but yeah, that's uh, that's Super Real World 2. It's a pretty fun ROM hack. It's definitely a difficult one, but I think it's one of the more accessible hard Kaizo hacks if you're trying to get into it. Um, it'll definitely take some time to get through, and some of the levels as you see are pretty insane. Um, but compared to like a Grand Prix World 2 or an Invictus, it's definitely a step lower. So if you are looking to do some ROM hack stuff, you might check out Super Real World, uh, the original Super Real World, or even Super Real World 2. Any last words? Well, I have you, a Dom. You have a donation Jamming. incentive that was met. Oh, yeah, yeah. I got to play some you games. You did. You guys, they, they came through. But before we head off to that, we have, a do we have a couple of donations to read. Okay, cool. Thank you. Uh, vacation Waluigi says, wah. Uh, they gave wah. $50. And you have an anonymous $10 donation. Uh, hey, keyboardist, can we get some bubble bobble? That's a good game with a good tune. I think I have it on my EverDrive. No, maybe not. Who doesn't have Super Mario World? Blowing on it worked. Cool. All right. Cool. Three, two, one, go. This is going to be weird. So, man, we're going to play Vanilla Mario World now, <laughs> which, uh, you know, I always play Kaizo stuff, and I haven't played Vanilla in a long time, so we'll see how this goes. I'm going to take it nice and easy, because I don't want to die on the first stage. <laughs> oh, so I hit the Yoshi egg, which actually is not a good speed strat, because even though he was off screen, he still paused my game. Yo, we big. Alright, so I Yeah, I think we're doing the 11 exit route, which takes us through Star World, and, uh... Yeah. Tubular. Yeah. No tubular. Oh, tubular that's is... Special? That's special, yeah. yeah. So not Star Road. Can't believe I did that. Oh my gosh. I just know people do that. <laughs> okay, we're gonna try not to die here. Whoa. actually pretty scary. Alright, nice. We'll take it. I want to see some Kaizo mechanics in here. Um, I see anything. Okay. Actually, we talked about in Super Real World. I'll show off uh, some ghostly shenanigans. Yeah, ghostly. Ghostly shenanigans. Do, 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 do. Pretty awesome. Whoa. All right. Cool. <laughs> I love it. All right. Three levels down. First castle. Let's do it. Oh gosh, watch out for that guy. <laughs> He's gonna take it nice and slow. Bop! Wait, fireball? Haha, -ha. not today. Cool. Alright, so the dreaded auto scroller part. Slowest level ever. Hopefully, I don't get crushed. Woo! Just 
waiting for me to fall into a pit. It's gonna happen. Ooh. So, that was actually, so I shouldn't have spun jump, because when you spin jump with fire power, he spits fire. Um, that was my mistake right there. Perfect time, we got a cutscene. We have a $30 donation from Wi-Fi Ninja. Uh, they say, you all can do it. Cheers from the gaming hall. Woo! Thank you. Thank you for donating for me to play Vanilla Mario World. This is so cool. I've always wanted to watch this baby. <laughs> it's been a long time. Feels good. All right. Let's we'll see if we can get us a cape. All right. Let's see if we can fly. That was actually really hard because I can't really hear the cape and I usually go off an audio cue for like roop, 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 you know what I mean? Um, but somehow we slipped in there, so I'm good. <laughs> we got a water level. I think most people would agree that even though we don't necessarily like water levels in Mario, I think we all universally love the music in water levels. I like how the music got intense right when I got hit. It fit nicely. Ah, this crazy fish is chasing me. Ooh, let me out of here. <laughs> All right. They call that guy Rip Van Fish, which is appropriate because I think he kills everybody. All right, so here's the ghost house. So now we can probably do some of that silly stuff I was talking about in Super Ryu World. So I think like this ghost here, you know, like a lot of people didn't know you could just do this and just straight up disrespect the ghost. <laughs> you know, it's like, I think we were when we were kids, we all ran away in terror. But turns out there's nothing to fear which could be like a real life lesson, you know? Spin jump on your fears. Spin jump on your fears. This fight is actually kind of interesting too, um, knowing about what you can do with ghosts. Um, for example, you can just throw this up and then spin around on top of them and have a good time. This is pretty fun. <laughs> just, you know, it's just fun to goof off in this room. Oh, I don't, that's crazy. I managed to get it to freeze in the holding position, but he, he threw the block. Frame perfect. Totally intended. <laughs> All right, we are entering Star Road. Yeah. We have a $10 donation from Media Magnet. He says, hey, Dom, how about Delfino Plaza? Uh, and we have a $100 donation from Sine Wave. He says, Got to donate during one of my favorite runners. This is a great charity and a great run to watch. Woo! Keep up the good work, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. How many dollars? So fun fact, we actually need a cape. Um, I got bodied in that level a little while ago. So we're going to go right back in here because there's a cape right here that we can get. Oh, uh, I hope I wasn't too far to the left. We might get to see this twice. Oh, we're good. We're good. <laughs> All right, cool. All right. 
I always thought it was interesting that Nintendo let you just float over everything and didn't put a ceiling. So Yoshi helped us get here real quick. Very kind of him, but now we're gonna say goodbye. This is probably the shortest level in the entire game. Well, not anymore because I'm doing it wrong, but you know what I'm saying. Normally you just fly straight up. There we go. All right, let's go for the yump. Oh, Cape Yump, too hard. All right, one more level on Star Road. This one is legitimately a concern. I could die here very easily, very easily. I don't even remember how to do it, to be honest. I'm a little nervous here. Actually, you know what? All right, we can do this, we can do this. <laughs> don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Ah! <laughs> it's so hard, I can't hear the cape. <laughs> All right, I gotta go get another one. This is this is part of the legit speedrun grinds here. If you speedrun this game, you're gonna you're gonna fall into that pit and die. We have a five dollar donation from Pikmin. They say Magwest has been quite an interesting event. Hope to see more of this in the Bay Area. Thank you for TSA Bot Team and Ryu for coming to San Jose to speedrun our favorite and crazy games. Astounding job to the keyboard player as well. Could I also request Like the Wind from Power Drift? Woo! Whoa. I'm debating doing the safe route, but like at the same time, I don't want to. I should, but I'm not going to. One of the fun things about Super Mario World Cape is that you can speed up and slow down. Like, you can't do this in Mario Maker. So I'm gonna go ahead and slow down a little bit, just to make that a little bit easier. You get a lot more control with the cape in Mario World. Which opens up some really cool tech and stuff you can do in ROM hacks. All right, Bowser's Castle. We should have done a uh, chat vote on which doors to go into. Honestly, I don't even remember which doors which. Oh, this one's good. That's one of the best ones, actually. I think the next is five a good one. Yeah, five's a good one. Let's see if I can time this. If you do this just right, you should be able to make it in one go. Was that good enough? I don't know. We'll find out. Yeah, cool. <laughs> Ooh, this room gets a little bit laggy because there's a lot going on. The SNES is uh, trying to keep up. All right, final boss time, and I believe that's when Megalovania plays, <laughs> if I remember correctly. <laughs> that, that, that sounds right. <laughs> Good old Bowser is here to chuck giant bowling balls at us. Now there's a trick. I did not do it right. Actually, I think you have to fly normally, but what you can do is if you're above him with the cape and he throws out the thing, you just immediately hit it and it falls right on his head. So just pretend I did that and it was really cool. Another thing a lot of people probably didn't know is that you can spin jump on fire, which is kind of weird, but pretty handy. I 
Definitely didn't do that right. There's a way to skip um, one of the ball drop phases to speed up the fight a little bit. You have to time it pretty specifically. I think it's right before he throws the first one. Alright, one more phase to go. do it. Time when Princess Peach appears. And that is Vanilla Super Mario World. Woo. That music that he was playing was so good that like I legit thought it was in the game. I was just in the zone. I was just like, this is great. Like I, I don't remember this music, but man, this sounds good. <laughs> Woo! Shout out to Dom for the incredible improvisation during the games. Like, how cool is that? All right, and I think I think that's gonna do it for me. So thank you all for hanging out and watching and the stream and donating and all that stuff. Um, thanks for having me, Mag West. And uh, we'll catch you on the flip side.